Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 4 of the Crochet Along Peacock Tail Bag designed by Tatiana from Lille Bjorn Crochet. The yarn that I'm using for this Crochet Along and this video is Linen Soft by Schepius and I'm using this yarn in combination with a 3mm hook. I'll take you step by step through the rounds making up this part. In this video I'll show you how to do the back side of the bag which are all even stitches but it's important to have your stitch count correct to get the correct curvature so I'll be paying a lot of attention to that. In a separate video I'll show you how to do the front side of the bag which has a lot of color detail and a three dimensional overlay work. But for this video I'll show you the back side step by step take you through the back. I hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. A few words on gauge for the end of part 4. Make sure your two sides are still the same size so they fit nicely on top of each other and make sure that they're about 35 centimeters at the widest point. Then you're perfect on gauge. A little bit more or less isn't that much of a crisis but this is more or less what you're aiming for. It has to do with the yarn in your kit. 35 centimeters and you want your two sides to of course nicely fit on top of one another and then you're good to go for next week. Row 20, new color yarn. You're going to start with a standing half double crochet in the second stitch. I'm again taking the thread with me from the previous round. Going to do two half doubles in that same stitch. And there we go. So you've just done two half doubles in the second stitch, followed by now eight half doubles. So one on each of the next eight stitches. And then we can start, almost start to repeat unit. And Three, one, two, three, yes. Seven and eight. There you go. Eight half doubles. And the next stitch you're going to do two half doubles. That's one. And two. Continue with our repeat unit. For the repeat unit we're going to do 12 half doubles and then do an increase. So on the ne next stitches we're doing 12 half doubles and that repeat you're going to do 7 times. So, one, so we're doing 12 stitches now. 2, 3, 4, 11 and then number 12. Now work 12 half doubles and the next stitch you're going to work an increase. So that means two half doubles in the next stitch. So one and two. This you're going to do seven times. So you're going to work 12 half doubles and then an increase. Keep counting your stitches because it's going to be easy at this point to really make mistakes with the number of stitches you're working. You're going to do this 12 times and that will not bring you to the end. You'll still have 13 stitches left. And on those 13, you're going to work a half double on each. So do, do the repeat 7 times and then on your last 13 stitches, you're going to work 13 half double crochets. Row 21, going to start again in the second stitch, take the thread with you from the back of the previous round, like so. We're now going to work a half double on every stitch and we get to the last stitch of this um, round, going to work two stitches on there. Hence your final and uh, your total stitch count is the same as the previous round. 
because you've skipped the first stitch but you work two on the last stitch. So you're going to work a half double on every stitch, half double on every stitch, and when you get to your last stitch here, the very last one, you work two half doubles on there. Row 22, starting with a standing half double in the second stitch. Take the thread with you from the previous round if you want to. Like so. And we're also going to do a half double in the third stitch. Like so. Now we're ready to start our repeat unit. The repeat unit is going to be 10 half doubles in an increase, so that's 2 half doubles and then 3 half doubles again. We're going to start the repeat unit by working 10 half doubles. Just 2, 3, 8, Nine and number ten. Ten um, half doubles. In the next stitch we're working an increase, so that's two half doubles. It's one and two half doubles in the same stitch, followed by three half doubles on the next stitches. That's one, two, and we got number three. That's your repeat units, the ten, then an increase, and three. This you're going to do eight times in total. It will bring you almost all the way around. Towards the end, when you've done the repeat eight times, you should have eight stitches left here and on those eight stitches work a half double on each. So do the repeat eight times and on your last eight stitches work eight half doubles. Row 23 again a standing half double in the second stitch taking the thread with me as usual. And there we go. And this round is the same as two rounds down. I'm going to work a half double on every stitch. And when you get to the last stitch in this round, you work two half doubles on there. Hence keeping your total stitch count the same. So that's a half double on every stitch. And on your last stitch work two half doubles. Row 24, starting in the second stitch with a standing half double crochet, which is the first of 20 this time round. So we're starting with a long stretch of stitches before we get to the repeat unit. It's three, so work 20, four, five, 18, this number 19, and number 20. And there we go. Just work 20 half double crochets starting in the second stitch. Now we're ready to start our repeat unit. The repeat unit starts by doing two half doubles on the next stitch. That's one and two. And we continue by making 14 half doubles. So the space, the number of stitches between your increases are, um, are increasing because of curvature your bag you want to keep that the same and hence uh, the number of increases goes um, the number of stitches between your increases goes up. 
So we're working 14 half doubles and that's the repeat unit. Two half doubles and one stitch and then 14 half doubles. Going to do that seven times at which point you should still have four stitches left. As in those last four stitches you're going to work a half double also. Let me just check where I am right now. Here's the increases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 half doubles. This is your repeat unit. The increase and then 14 half doubles. This you do 7 times. After this you should have 4 stitches left here at the end. So after your last repeat you should have 4 stitches left and on those last 4 stitches also work a half double. So go all the way around, your last four stitches work four half doubles and then there's only one more row for this part. Row 25, same as two rows down. To start in the second stitch with the standing half double And then work a half double on every stitch and when you get to the last stitch you again work two half double crochets on that. So go all the way around and work one half double on each and on the last one you work two half doubles.